Hello, I'm going to explain what is an ambiguous grammar. So, ambiguous grammar is very simple. So, if there are two or more parse tree for a given string, a resulting, resulting string, then we call it as an ambiguous grammar. So, let me show it to you with an example. So, let me consider this grammar. S gives a, B, C. A gives A, A, B or A, B. B gives C, B, D or C, D. And C gives A, C, D, A, D, D. And D gives B, D, C or B, C. So this is the grammar which I'm considering. And uh, I will consider a resulting string, say A, A, B, B, C, C, D. Now let us see if we can get this resulting string in two or more different ways using this grammar. So let's construct parse tree. So say, let me construct parse tree one. Okay, so I'll start with this production. I'll start with S and I'll consider this I can either consider a b or i can consider c so, so right now in this past tree i'll consider this a b a b and this a a gives a a b or a b so i'll consider a a b a a b so why I considered this A, A, B? Why I didn't consider this one? Because my string contains A, A, B, B, right? And if I just consider this A, B, my production stops here. My tree stops here, okay? So, I mean, my, this A production just gives A, B and it stops there. So, but I want A, A and B, B. So what I did is, I considered this as my first A and this is my last B, the second B, okay? so. <clears throat> when I get this, I can actually again use the same production and use this A, B and I got A, A and B, B. Okay, now coming to the B. So I take this B and I do the same thing. I take this C, B, D. B and D. Okay. Again, for this B, I consider this one now so i get cd so the production which i've got here is a a b b c c d d i've got this right this is what i expected okay let me try to construct another part tree for the same grammar for the same resulting string sorry okay i'll have to start with the same yes this is always the starting okay we can't start with any other symbol so this is considered to be the starting production <coughs> so this time I'll, I'll consider this one i'll not go with this I'll, I'll go with this okay you get c and c has what these two productions acd and add okay so let me go with the first one so c gives three things a c d <coughs> and then <coughs> again c gives a d d i'll use this one 
so why am i seeing low so i'm concentrating on the initial string right so this a is this a i mean this this first a is this a okay and then the d which i've got here supposedly this is the last d okay and i'll take the c again and then i'll again expand the production so i get a d and d so if you see my resulting string and what i've got here is i've got a a and d d is there a a d d is there now i have got d i need to get b b and c c so i take this production and then i go for b d c right i get b i get d i get c i've got this b and this c so again i have d and then i use this production i get what b c so what did i get here i got a a b b c c d d i got it b b c c and d d so these two resulting strings have two parse trees okay so we can say that the resulting string a a b b c c d d can be achieved using two parse trees and this particular grammar can be considered as an ambiguous grammar hope you get it thanks for watching